Hey you guys, my name's Cody and in this video I'm gonna teach you how to do the Instagram landscape style swipe effect. Okay, so let's just get started. The first thing you're gonna need to follow along with this tutorial is the app for your mobile phone, Lightroom by Adobe. So there is a paid version of this app. You don't need that, you can use the free version and that's the one that I'm using. So once you've downloaded it, you can follow along with me. Okay, so here's the app on my phone. I'm gonna open this up. And right away, I can see a lot of albums that I've already been using, and I'm gonna create two new albums. So to create two new albums, I'm gonna push this plus sign right here. Push album. I'm gonna put this album, I'm gonna name this album number one. And then I'm gonna create a second album. I'm gonna name that one number two. And the reason why I'm using just one and two, obviously to keep it simple, but also to keep them right at the top of my long list of albums here. So I'm gonna go right into album number one. And the first thing we need to do is import the photo that we want to use. And I'm gonna import this photo. I already have one selected. So I'm gonna go import right here on the bottom right hand corner. And then I'm gonna import from my camera roll. And I can see my photo here. It's my beautiful girlfriend, Hame, and She's laying on the edge of a pool. And so now you can see I have one photo in my album. I'm gonna select that photo. And the tools that we are going to be using today is just the crop tool. So the crop tool is right here on the top right hand side tool. We're gonna to open this up. And you can see immediately there's a box now around our photo. And on the right hand side, there are some other tools that we have to use. We're gonna use the three boxes on the top right hand side. We're gonna enter that. And this is aspect ratios. So we can change the aspect ratios. And so we are going to use, for this tutorial, we are gonna use 16 by 10. So go ahead and select 16 by 10. And now you will notice that the sides of your photo has been cropped in a little bit. So you can see some of the photo is cropped. So we're gonna take this, I'm gonna just center, center my photo up a little bit more so I can see her foot here is quite a bit farther than her hand to the edge of the photo. So I'm just gonna take this and slide it over to where I think it's about centered and maybe about there. Perfect. So now I'm gonna select OK down at the bottom right hand corner. And with this, now I'm gonna export this photo out to my camera roll and then I'm gonna import it again. So to export it, we're gonna use this box with the arrow pointing up and this is gonna allow me to export to my camera roll. Camera roll. There we go, export, and it happens pretty quick. This photo was successfully exported. So now I can go into my second album. So I'm gonna go back from here and go into my number two album. And this is where I'm gonna import that new photo. So I'm gonna do the same thing we did before. Uh, select the box with the plus sign. Uh, camera roll, I'm gonna select from my camera roll. And I can see now my new photo, it doesn't have the Lightroom logo because I just edited that photo. So now I'm gonna select this top left photo and I'm gonna import that photo. And now you'll notice that this photo has been cropped. This is now my 16 by 10 aspect ratio photo. And so now all I have to do is use the crop tool again right here on the top right hand side. And we're still in that 16 by 10 ratio. So we're gonna change the ratio same way. We're gonna go into the three boxes and we're gonna slide this up and I can see a five by four. Now, if we take the five by four, click on the five by four, you can see it almost has the whole image still inside there, but we're gonna take this little box on the top left-hand side here, and we're gonna push that one time, and now you can see the aspect ratio. It seems like it changed. So what we're gonna do is our, take our photo, take our finger, and put it inside the highlighted cropped area, and we're gonna slide the photo all the way to the left. Now the photo is gonna get cropped on this half of the photo, and this is directly, perfectly in half. So we don't want to change the crop here. We don't want to do this at all. We want to make sure that's all the way open and we're cropping just the left hand side so you can see her legs are on the left hand side of this photo and I'm going to push OK. Now I can export this photo out to my camera roll just like we did before. Okay, successfully exported. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to crop again using the crop tool and I'm going to crop the right hand side of this photo. And now you can see I'm on the right hand side, same thing, don't change the crop size, make sure it's full, and then push OK, and we're gonna crop and we're gonna export this photo out to our camera roll. Great. 
And now I have those two photos in my camera roll and I can check that by sliding over to my camera roll here. And now I can see both my photos and here they are, but the effect on my camera roll is not that great. So let's go out to Instagram and now we should be able to put this post together. So now I'm gonna import my photos, get ready for a post. So I need to click this multiple photos button right here down in the right hand side above my photos. And I'm gonna click that. And I don't want this one to be the first one. Remember, this is the right hand side of the photo. And if you know on Instagram, the first way that you swipe is from the right to the left. So we want the left hand side of the photo first. So we're gonna deselect this first photo and now we're gonna select the second photo, which is the left-hand side of the photo. Now we're gonna go back to this first photo, or the right-hand side, and we're gonna select that photo. So now you should see number one here on the legs, or the left-hand side of your photo, and number two here on the right-hand side of your photo. And now I'm ready to go on to my next step for posting. Click Next. And you can see the photos are nice and lined up. Um, Instagram separates the photos, so it's not perfect right here. But once we actually post it, you'll see that it's absolutely perfect. So let's go next. I don't need to edit because I've already done the light and the color and everything. I'm just gonna say, wow, amazing. Now I should be able to click OK. I have a little text that I can tag people. So let me, uh, let me tag my girlfriend here, add a tag, and let me tag me. There she is. So now I can tag my girlfriend right here on her foot. That's kind of a cool looking photo. It's just her legs on the edge of a pool. And let me click done there. And I should be able to share this right here, share. And now you can see the effect works perfectly right here. Now I can swipe and I can see her whole body. I can see this nice landscape photo. And I'm not having to crop into just a four by five aspect ratio. Okay, great guys. I hope that that helps you out a lot. Stay tuned. I'll be posting more fun tutorials like this. Hopefully they're helpful. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down there in the comment section. Give me a like, subscribe, all that stuff. Anyways, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.